Understanding the Deflationary Gap, an English Language Learning Guide. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating economic concept, the deflationary gap. This term might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together in a simple and understandable way. So, let's dive in and discover what a deflationary gap is all about. A deflationary gap occurs in an economy when the total demand for goods and services is less than the potential output at full employment. This gap leads to a decrease in production, lower prices, and often increased unemployment. It's important to understand that this is not just a temporary dip in demand. It's a prolonged situation where the economy consistently operates below its full potential. Several factors can lead to a deflationary gap. These include 1. Decreased consumer spending, when people cut back on buying goods and services. 2. Reduction in investments, this happens when businesses spend less on new projects and expansion. 3. Government policy, sometimes, government actions, like reducing spending or increasing taxes, can contribute to this gap. 4. External factors. Things like a global recession or reduced demand for exports can also lead to a deflationary gap. The deflationary gap can have several negative effects on an economy. Increased unemployment. As demand falls, businesses need fewer employees. Lower prices. While this might sound good, it can lead to deflation, which can discourage spending and investment. Reduced economic growth. The economy grows more slowly than it could, affecting everyone's standard of living. To overcome a deflationary gap, governments and central banks can take certain measures. Increasing government spending. This can boost demand in the economy. Cutting taxes. Putting more money in people's pockets can encourage them to spend more. Lowering interest rates. This makes borrowing cheaper, encouraging spending and investment. Understanding the deflationary gap is crucial for grasping broader economic concepts. It shows us how economies can underperform and the steps that can be taken to correct this imbalance. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in your English language learning journey. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you in our next video.